This next question is from Johan. Mm -hmm. He asks, is being emotionally shut down always a result of fear or a telltale sign of fear? Well, yes, it's always a result of fear and terror. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the reason why we become emotionally shut down. But we also need to understand that fear as an emotion is a whole set of belief systems that are all false. Yeah. And, and the reason why we become emotionally shut down is because we believe, uh, emotionally believe, a whole heap of things that are completely false from God's perspective. Mm -hmm. So that's the primary reason why we become emotionally shut down. It's a choice that we make to continue in our belief systems that are false. So truth is going to help us open up that. Truth is going to help us expose the beliefs inside of us that are false. And in the process of exposing it, if we allow some of the emotions to flow during the exposure, then of course we be start to become emotionally sensitive. And it's great to be emotionally sensitive. In fact, in the end, we want to be completely emotionally sensitive and open. And that, that is the best way of progressing once you're emotionally sensitive and open. But it did take me many, uh, probably, probably over one whole year of effort before I became emotionally sensitive and open and allowed myself to connect to that inner child within who was injured and hurt. And, and for the average person, it takes probably longer than that, actually, to connect to that because there's so many false beliefs surrounding feeling that inner child, that yeah. child's experience. Yeah. And most of those false beliefs usually were established by the environment by, and by, in particular, our parents. Mm -hmm. Our parents browbeated their belief systems of why we should not feel specific emotions into us. Yeah. And then often they used emotional techniques or violence, abusive techniques, to, to reinforce their belief systems inside of us. Mm -hmm. And so most of us are petrified of feeling any emotion as a result. Yeah. And because of that, we, we also become very emotionally shut down. And every person who has manic depression or depression is emotionally shut down from experiencing their emotions. Mm -hmm. And what I would suggest to every person who has manic depression or depression that they look very sincerely at the techniques their family use to shut down their emotional experience. Yeah. And in particular, their emotional experiences, even of anger, mm -hmm. but also of fear and grief. Because you get to the point where you shut down everything and that's why you get depressed. Yeah. So, so mental illnesses such as depression are the direct result. They're not really mental illnesses. They're emotional illnesses. Yes. They, not, I wouldn't class them as a, classify them as a mental illness but rather an emotional illness caused by the suppression that came of, our, of emotions during our childhood. And the only way to undo the effects of it is to allow ourselves to examine our childhood with more honesty and allow ourselves to begin to feel some of those childhood emotions. Yeah. And to do that, we need to become sensitive to the inner child, mm -hmm. the child who experienced those emotions and locked them all up at the ages that those emotions occurred. Yeah. Mm. Yeah.